Okay, the final thing we're going to do here in this series is actually set up a modal using React Native Router Flux. Now, React Native Router Flux has documentation on a different type of modal. Um, and we're not actually going to be using the out-of-the-box modal that it talks about in the docs. What we're going to be doing here is just having a screen that pops up over all of the other ones and it, it does so from navigating up from the bottom. It's really, really simple. Um, and it, again, something I did off screen, off video, was set up a new component called modal screen. Um, it's just like any of the other screens we've actually made. You can see here it's just um, yeah, it's really simple. It's exactly the same. The only difference being here, this on press action rather than going to something like the scarlet screen or the gray screen or the gold screen or the black screen, we've got actions.pop, which is going to, it does the same thing as the back button in the nav bar. It's just we're going to explicitly define it here. And what it's going to do here is just pop the current route off of the navigation stack um, and go back to the previous screen. So let's go ahead and actually wire this up. Um, again, like our other routes, we're gonna, going to jump into our, um, our index.js file here. Something I'll do is scroll down, um, down here. So something to note, it's a little hard to see here, but we're actually outside of the tabs scene that we set up before. So this is this is um, a sibling to the t the tabs scene rather than a child like any of these other ones. So that's something to note there. And again, just like all the other routes, we'll set up a, a normal scene, give it a key. In this case, we're going to say modal. Um, we'll give it a component, which is equal to. Uh, modal screen, which we actually need to import. We'll go ahead and do that up here. Okay, so now we've got our modal screen imported there. Um, again, we'll set a title. This isn't really needed here, but just kind of sticking with normal conventions. Um, and now we're going to start getting to the stuff that actually differs. First up being direction. Uh, before I said this will be a screen that pops up from the bottom and rather than kind of going with a left to right um, or a right to left I think that'd be the right way the normal navigation that we see here the direction of this one's going to be from bottom to top and that's just going this is how we actually tell the package to do that for us um, that's the only specification we actually have to add have there which is really nice and just to kind of stick with the way we're doing everything um, or just to kind of make the modal stand out a little bit more we're actually going to hide the default nav bar package is very simple uh, the prop name to actually do that is very obvious there um, so there we've got we've set it up to hide our nav bar and now you know everything looks exactly the same which is to be expected but what we want to do now is to actually jump down into one of our components in this case we'll jump to scarlet scarlet screen we're going to add a new text component um, it's going to look exactly the same only difference we're going to make here is say modal screen and rather than going to gray we'll go to modal press save on that, let this um, re-render, and now we can see we've got scarlet screen and modal screen. When we press scarlet, it's going to bring us to the gray screen. You guys know how that works. But this time when we press modal screen, it's actually bringing that modal up from the bottom. And like you could swipe backwards here, if you get close enough to the edge, with modal screen being that it comes up from the bottom, we can either, either press the modal text, which as you recall from earlier, is calling actions.pop. That'll drop us back to our previous route, in this case our tabs. Um, the other thing we can do is actually, towards the top, we can drag down, and that'll bring us to, that, that's doing the same thing. Behind the scenes, it's calling actions.pop. And that's how you set up a basic modal screen um, that can kind of work as a full screen takeover. 
using React Native Router Flux.